Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James and today we're going to be talking about the best locations to build on the island map. This one applies to the PvE players so if you've got yourself a nice cup of tea, you sat back and relaxed and you've been a truly great sport and you've already hit that thumbs up button, we'll talk about the prime real estate and best places to build on the island map. Queen Elizabeth herself is going to be jealous of this one so let's just jump straight into it. So the first area we're going to take a look at is actually the center of the three mountains. Now this is the least picturesque suggestion I've got for you but it is a good suggestion if you were talking strategy and beating the game. Let me tell you why, if we just bring up the resource map, if you set up smack bang between all three of these mountains you've got an abundance of metal, obsidian and crystal just a stone's throw away and if you can wall off a good sized section of this, you've got access to a lot of carnivore dinosaurs. There will be T-Rexes here and there's going to be a lot of hide and if you want to beat this game you're going to need to gather a lot of hide and a lot of metal. So I would suggest that building here might perhaps be the fastest way in order to beat this game. If you can hold this position you're definitely going to come across some good dinosaurs and you're going to be able to get plenty of metal and resources. And the next suggestion I've got is the Redwood Lake. This is a great place to build and the Redwoods is a beautiful biome. You will have some high level dinosaurs here on your doorstep as well and it's just on the west hand side of the Redwood biome. If you did set up here, if we just bring up the resource map, you have access to, of course, the Redwood Mountain, which has quite a lot of metal nodes at a stone's throw. You're also going to have access to the Swamp Cave just around the corner, which means you can farm what I would probably call the best loot or the best cave drop in the game. I've found many of my best blueprints in the Swamp Cave, so that one's up for debate, but it's a good one. Moving on to Herbivore Island, and this is where I've chose to set up for my playthrough of the game. And this island is great, in fact I would say it's jack of all but master of none. Having played here, one of the advantages to being on Herbivore Island is you've got your own water pen here, but I've only needed to tame up the Basilosaurus. Uh, you've also got this natural horseshoe that makes for a very good dino pen. I think some of my dinos have been aggroed probably by something falling in here occasionally uh, but there are no carnivores on this island and there is some metal on this island and being that I spend a lot of time here doing breeding it has generated quite a bit of metal as they as it does respawn I regather it and it does a fair amount of metal not enough that I haven't had to use the volcanoes on multiple occasions to gather but still enough just to keep ticking over. I'll just bring up the resource map for the island so you can see where the other metal nodes are in relation to us. So there is good reason to set up on Herbivore Island. I've enjoyed it and the reason I've set up here is because every time I've tried to play on a multiplayer server, this one's always taken first. Herbivore Island, definitely master of none, but jack of all. It has a little bit of everything and it is a lovely place to build. I'll certainly recommend this one as well. Okay, moving on to the Stony Isle. Now this is a place I was a member of a tribe in for quite a long time and there was quite an extravagant build done here. It really was a good place to build but unfortunately one of the drawbacks of building here is we want to use this as a water pen but unfortunately it's just a little too shallow to bring any of your water dinos in. 
You can get a couple in, but when we're talking the larger dinos, it doesn't work. Again, for this pool, it would just be great if that opening there was into the sea, but it doesn't allow you to bring in any of your water dinos. So just a couple of points knock down for that one, but still a great area to wall off. And I really did enjoy building here. I'll just bring up the map and the coordinates as you can see we're right on the south side here and if we just bring up the resource map and you'll see that we're located at the south here just to the northwest of us we do have a large resource of metal here and to the northeast just hidden behind some trees there's also some metal so not too far away from the metal that you'll need but this place does lose points because it would be the greatest water dino pen on the island map if only it was just a little bit deeper just below us here. Moving on to the mini mountains. Now again, strategically speaking to beat this game, this is a great location to be. Just on the top of this little mini mountain here, we've got rich deposits of metal and you don't really want to build on that cliff, but just having access to it, just being able to bring it back and it being on your doorstep, this is a really efficient place to build. And that's the location on the GPS and on the map. We just look behind us. I've built on these two levels before and you've got that beautiful waterfall there. So it's a very picturesque location to build. And if we just take a look at the resource map, you'll see that the little node really doesn't do it justice. But you do have a mountain either side of you and there is an abundance of metal to be gathered here. You also will find that uh, you get T-Rexes wandering in and Spinos. So you will find a few high level dinosaurs and you're gonna be above them on the rocks. So it's a very easy place to tame some of the high level dinosaurs that tend to wander into this little area here. So yeah, a great little place to build. Ah yes, the Hidden Lake couldn't do a best locations without featuring this one. Now, the Hidden Lake was actually used to promote the original game, and this is its location here. I'll just bring it up on the map with the GPS signal. So, if we just bring up the resource map, you'll see where this little pool of water here is where the Hidden Lake is, and you've got three mountains surrounding you, just a stone's throw away for the metal. You're also just across from Carnivore Island, which is quite a useful place to be. And this area, if you can find it and take it, all you need to do is just put three behemoth gates up to pretty much wall this whole area off and you've got a lot of building space. It's a very nice area to be. You might have the occasional dino dropping off the cliff here down into your base, but I never really found it when I built here. I might mention that there is a supply drop just behind that cliff and some of my members on the Discord has said that there is a little glitch point where you can't build, but yeah, a truly great place to build. And moving on now to Brawler's Bay, as the locals call it. This area is strategically another great spot to set up and a very picturesque one as well. I've previously built over the top of the waterfall here and I can tell you that you're just far enough away from the snow biome that you're not constantly eating and having to worry about wearing fur, but it's still just there if you need the organic polymer. You'll also find a lot of dinosaurs fighting just here, particularly over near that black rock in the distance. You can see that it's just a river that runs out. Of course, being set up around about this river area here, if we just bring up the resource map, and you'll see the waterfall just flows out here. We've got advantage of being on the doorstep of the snow biome, plenty of polymer and rich metal resources, and we've also got the volcano right next to us. So definitely setting up somewhere along Ballers Beach, especially near this waterfall, I think is a very good location. 
We have of course got access to the sea as well so you could build a water dino pen somewhere around here but more importantly you don't take any damage from the cold and although you can wear a lot of fur you will be consuming a lot of meat if you end up setting up in the snow biome so that's why I suggest Brawler's Beach. Okay, so that's my guide to the best locations that you can set up on the island map. Now, I am of course speaking to the PvE player as opposed to the PvP. Some of these places are going to be red flags and you'll get raided if you're thinking about setting up in these high resource locations. But if you're thinking about taking on the game with a small group of players and defeating the game, then that's my suggestion for best locations. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more art content in the future from myself. I do do other guides and we are doing a complete series on this island map and I am going to be facing the final boss very soon. So go and check that series out if you're new here. Also, comments down below if you think there's any areas that I missed in the game that should be considered as really good places to be strategically. I'm not really talking about the underwater caves, more strategic spots to be in order to complete the game. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.